And this final glaze is another one that I mix here in the studio. Um, it's a copper green glaze. Um, and this is what it looks like finished. So it's a much darker glaze. This is the black clay body that I was just talking about earlier, so it does turn quite a bit darker. Um, I really like what the copper green does with decals. The red decals actually also then turn a copper green when they're fired on. So this is actually a great example of the, the red poppy that I use quite a lot. Uh, when it's touching that copper green glaze, it changes. So there's some interesting transitions that can happen um, with surface. This copper green glaze, um, I also like. It's one of the runnier glazes that I use. and and getting nice drips in the soda kiln at, at low fire temperatures isn't always a, an easy thing for me to, to do. So uh, this copper glaze, this is an example of sort of how, the, how it can change with the soda effects. So it got hit with soda right here and that copper glaze started to run which left some interesting um, surface changes on, the, on this bottle. So this has been a, a fun glaze to experiment with. So this, this decoration shows you where uh, I've got some interesting um, underglaze surface here. There's a drip I'm going to need to clean up. And then there's just a bunch of white open space there, which, which leaves me opportunity then to come back. And when, it, when I'm loading the kiln, this can be the area that's set uh, where it's going to get blasted with soda. And then I can come back and overlay a decal over top of that. So I'm, I'm adding. Uh, thinking about where information is going to be placed as I'm as I'm doing this process, uh, thinking about um, the next steps.